see you. You are up next, brother, my friend from You Light Up My Christmas. But for now, Sasha Farber is about to enter the building. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right, right. I, I didn't know that was possible. Look at you. I know. What's happened to him? What's happened? Look at you. Hi, hon. How's it going? Oh, it's so good to see you. It is great to see you, my friend. Great oh, to see oh. you. Great to see you. Great to see you. So, you. I, thank you. you. Thank you so much. So do you. So do you. Quarantine is suiting you. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm about to shave it. Emma likes it, but I'm like, it's just too itchy. Yeah, I shaved yesterday, so I'm I'm good right now. <laughs> ah, that's the difference. Had to, had to had to do away with that right there. <laughs> So guys, Sasha Farber uh, is one of the stars on Dancing with the Stars. He is one of the pro dancers for several years. And um, Sasha uh, uh, is, is responsible for all, all that I am as a dancer. <laughs> you were pretty easy to work with, that's for sure. I was Thank very you. lucky. Oh, thank you very much. So you can catch all of our dances on season 22 of Dancing with the Stars. Um, and uh, it was from 2016. Uh, but I asked Sasha to join the conversation today because um, I wanted to get a perspective on two things. One, um, he and Emma, his wife Emma, is also a pro on the show. So I wanted to talk about working with your wife and, and right now working from home. But <laughs> She just left the house. She's gone for a gym thing. So we're good. No. <laughs> and then also just wanting to get a take on um, more of an international take on just kind of the climate of everything right now. Yeah. And, and how to, you know, approach this from a men's health lens. Um, because Sasha is, uh, was born in Russia and um, grew up in Australia. Uh, and his wife, Emma, is from the UK. So they bring all kind of international flavor. Mm. Um, and, you know, at, at another time, we'll talk about, of course, how wonderful dance is and how great it is to dance as a way of, you know, um, release of, of stress, of, of, of living life. Y'all have seen me dance on my IG all the time. So you know how much I love it. Um, so Sash, um, let's back it up a bit. And um, you and Emma got married a year ago, a year and a half ago? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, it was a lovely wedding. It was beautiful. It was I was blessed to be in attendance. Yeah, we um, had a lot of fun. So how's it been working from home? And for people who are still, um, especially now that cities are kind of, kind of you know, pulling back and, and doing lockdowns again and things like that, how is it um, working from home um, for what you do and then working with your, with your spouse, with your partner? Yeah, I mean, listen, it, it's definitely so, so grateful to, to be working with my wife. Um, we met in um, New York um, for the first time we were doing Broadway. Mm -hmm. and, um, ever since then, it was it was um, like a love at first sight, and we've been together. We've been soulmates. It, it is, I guess, sometimes hard. Um, well, I guess a lot of people always say, you know, how, how do you guys do it? You know, you live together, you work together. Mm -hmm. uh, you're always twenty four hours a day together, and I think you know we're so grateful for that. That's that's such a bonus and such a positive for us. And I think in a in a healthy relationship it's always good to have me time and your time and alone time and to kind of spread it out to then come back in to what this circle of love and circle of trust is so i think we've been lucky in that sense where um we work a lot together especially during the season during the season we're not only working together we're working against each other right but you know, you know, being family and being my wife, it's it's always working together. You know, Emma would always come in to to you, our rehearsal and be like, "Babe, let, let's check him this bit." Yeah, and yes. Vice versa, I would go into her rehearsals. So, in that sense, I I don't think we look at it as that type of competition, but it's very important for people out there to to have maybe an hour or fifteen minutes or whatever they need sometimes to be away from everything to then come in to appreciate it even more. Mm -hmm. um, and oh wait, I think 
Is Lindsay on? Lindsay just texted me. <laughs> Hi, hey, Lindsay Arnold. <laughs> uh, love Lindsay. Lindsay is part of our circle of life and circle of love. We, she's yes. definitely family, and um, she's having a baby right now, which is <gasps> that's great. Her and oh Sam. Yes. With just to put this in, in context, guys. So, um, again, Sasha is one of the dance pros on Dancing with the Stars. He was my partner in 2016, and uh, Lindsay, who he just mentioned. Uh, if you remember our season, Juan Ye, my dear, dear from yes. um, Boys to Men, Lindsay was Juan Ye's partner. So that's who we're talking about. And Emma, who is Sasha's wife, Emma, uh, she, she's, she's won the mirror ball. She was the pro with, um, who does she won with? Um, Jen, Rashad yeah. Jenny, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, and that's great advice in terms of being able to have that, that, that time for yourself you know, mm -hmm. when you are working and living, you know, and it's kind of everything is, is encapsulated with your spouse that whole time. So it's great advice. Um, in terms of more of a global view, and I know you've mm -hmm. lived in the States and in, you know, California for some time now, but, but, but what's kind of your take in terms of the global view with what's happening with the pandemic and, and the social unrest and things of that nature. And I've seen certainly your support, Emma's support um, with everything that's been going on. Um, but, but for you, what's kind of your take? And how do you manage your stress, you know, with everything with this? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's the, the whole world. It's, it's crazy right now. Um, with COVID-19, we cut, we cut our tour a little bit early. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't think that was possible. It, it's literally like turning the news on and watch, watching um, a movie. It, you don't really believe what you're seeing in front of your eyes. It's, it's something like out of a movie scene. But um, I think what's happening, the world is going through this change should have happened a long, long time ago. Um, and I think it's, 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 a, it's a change that is needed. And yeah. I think people stand very strong for what they believe in. And I think that's what's important. They have to show um, what they believe in and follow, follow their dreams and to show America what it really stands for. Mm. America um, is probably, to be honest, the only country that's kind of going through this. And it's set a benchmark, um, you know, for for awareness around the world and informing so many people, so many people out there didn't know what's going on. Um, I think the, the marches have, have really upped, upped the game, which is great. I think people are standing for what they believe in. It's great. Um, and I say, keep on, keep on fighting. Yeah. 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 So um, do you use, is it, is it too much of a cliche to think that you use, um, dance and you're a phenomenal dancer you know i always think that about you but do you use dance as as a as a way to kind of as a release or do you just not do it because it's what you do for a living so yeah i mean ever since i was a kid um hey I, gleb and gleb is in the building <laughs> yeah so he, he takes me already gleb we love you buddy um yeah no ever since i was a kid at school um and you know being a dancer is not the best popular thing at school uh, and being at home with you know a family that's come from you know migrated from russia who you know my dad came to um australia we, with 200 dollars in his pocket and and um two kids and a wife to support and we had to get out of russia because of Chino chernobyl so it was like get pack our bags and get out um so our family was kind of like the best part about my family was my mum and dad never showed struggle and they never showed stress, even though there were, it was so stressful. And in time, the more I got older, I, I could kind of see things evolving, um, how hard my family's working, what's going around me, all the stress that's needed. So yes, dance was something that would take me to dancing and I would train for four hours. I would drive for maybe an hour and a half to get to the studio um, we would train for four hours and in those four hours, it was just like a hundred percent dedication to dance. Um, wouldn't think of anything, no, no think problems in the world, no problems at home, mm -hmm. no struggles until the dance is finished and you get back 
done. You've got that hour and a half run and you're like, oh, wow. But yeah, dance has definitely helped me in the sense of getting, um, forgetting things, not forgetting things, but taking your mind and clearing it and yes. just focusing on one thing. And I think um, you can do that not with only just dance. You can do that with anything else where um, it, it's really important to, to focus on one thing that you're present in mm-hmm. and get what's going on in the world, forget what's going, ha- what's happening, all the negative, just think positive for a good, you know, it doesn't have to be four hours. It doesn't have to be three hours. It doesn't have to be dancing. It, yeah. It, it, minutes, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. But I think that's really important. Yeah. 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 Definitely. You're because you can only absorb so much, you know, it's like a sponge. You can only absorb so much before you have to squeeze to just let some of that out. Right. Yeah, and I remember even during uh, during the season with you, you know, you'd c- come in and you'd be like, "Oh man, blah 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 blah," but then you'd start dancing and you were fully in it, and you would forget like what's going on around you in the world, mm-hmm. at home, outside, whatever, and yes. you you'd be in it. Yeah, yeah, I, it's it's definitely my you know one of my loves, and it's it's one of my loves as a release. Um, it's one of my loves where it just, it, it, it requires so much focus that mm-hmm. you can put everything on pause just for a minute, just for a little while, you know, and that sort of thing. Because honestly, once you refresh yourself that way mentally and sometimes physically, you're able to get back in the game. 100%. You're able to get back in the game. And not only that, you're, you're able to get back in the game stronger and more clear and more focused. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate your time. I'm sending you big hugs and love and kisses. Same to M. Tell her hello for me. I will. All right. I can't wait to see you. Same here. Same here. Thanks, hon. Bye. Tell the family I said hi. I <laughs> all right, guys. Yay. I'm just so thrilled that all these great, 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 great um, friends of mine, quite honestly let alone their awesome dudes in their own right. Uh, Someone said, very refreshing.